And with those cold temperatures upon us, a lot of people who experience homelessness, they definitely need to get out of these dangerous elements. One shelter in eastern Iowa opened its winter overnight shelter just tonight. With that in mind, let's go live right now to KWW reporter Travis Breeze. He's in our Iowa City newsroom. And Travis, there have been concerns, though, about this valuable shelter having enough staffing just to stay open. Tell us more. Ron, they would like to keep the winter overnight shelter open all the way until the temperatures warm up, but their own staff have been getting COVID as well as they've been having staffing shortages. So they know it's going to take a lot of hard work and probably some luck to keep this open for the next few months. We're battling it just like everyone else is. Shelter house staff have been hit hard by COVID this fall and winter, meaning they could not open the winter overnight shelter until Tuesday, a month after it usually happens. We're glad to be opening the winter overnight shelter tonight. Obviously, this is something that we have been trying to do and struggling to staff since the fall. We have folks who are shifting schedules, who are working double shifts to be able to make it happen. Shelter house has not had to turn anyone away. They've expanded their main building to allow people to sleep in the lobby. But the winter shelter is meant for sleeping and it has more amenities. This is a much more dignified option. While their main goal is to transition people to a more permanent living situation, this additional space is a huge asset as they see more people in the coming months. We are always facing the reality of a, a, a COVID situation that might require that we close. With the capacity at the main building, as well as having people overnight in the lobby and now the winter shelter, they can house up to 140 people in a night, but they do not think that they're going to get to that capacity anytime particularly soon. In Iowa City, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Now, Travis, thanks very much. Yeah, it would be a shame if it did have to close down, but I'll tell you what, listen to this out of Johnson County. Johnson County COVID rate right now at an all-time high. Since last week, there has been a 250% increase in Johnson County positive cases. And because of that sharp increase, Johnson County Public Health said today it will no longer be doing contact tracing and case investigation. They're so overwhelmed. They have been doing that since the very beginning of the pandemic after COVID first arrived in Johnson County in March of 2020. Now they say they'll continue to monitor the disease in high risk groups locally in Johnson County and coordinate with organizations that experience a rise in COVID cases.